Hi, this is a demonstration of Android controlled wildlife observation robot project. So for wildlife filming or photography, the user needs to go get close to the wild animals. The, you know, he needs to uh, get at a close range for filming them closely in their uh, environment. And for this purpose, the user needs to uh, stand at a safe distance from those wild animals. But uh, he, the filming needs to be at a close distance. So for that purpose, this uh, robot has a panning camera and can be controlled wirelessly through an Android device easily so that the user can stand at a safe distance and can also, you know, film them as and when desired. So for this purpose, we also have a panning camera here. The camera can be rotated on a 180 degree scale for uh, recording as desired. Suppose the animal is moving, then the user can rotate the camera easily and record the movement or footage as desired. So this system uh, has a A05 family microcontroller and Bluetooth modem for this purpose. So this innovative system is a spy robot that can be easily controlled wirelessly using an Android based device. So for this purpose uh, on the receiving circuit we use a Bluetooth modem here which is connected to a A05 family microcontroller and the microcontroller is then used to control the vehicle movement as well as the camera movement. This camera allows uh, the user to uh, you know, look at the area uh, on a 160 degree scale. So this uh, footage captured by the camera is uh, also wirelessly transferred and can be seen on a PC through its receiver. So you know, this is a spy robot that can be used in military and other related applications for spying where the robot, uh, even if it stops at a particular place, the user can pan the scam camera on a 180-degree scale. So on a 180-degree direction, it can see the footage on various angles. So let's see how the system works. Let's turn on the system. So system is now being turned on. So let's connect our Android device to the system. So for this purpose we use this free Android app here. This is available for download for free. Now the system has been connected to the Android device. So now let's see the forward, backward, left and right movements of the vehicle first. So let's see the forward movement. The center button is used to stop the current movement of the vehicle. So let's see backward. And similarly left and right. So now let's see the camera panning. The buttons below A, B, C, D are used to pan the camera uh, in uh, at various angles. So this is how the user can pan the camera to uh, scan the nearby territory. So let's see a real-time working demonstration of the system.